Alright guys, so this is my under $20 budget survival kit. I spent $17.42, short of myself $2.58. I'm going to tell you what I spent that money on and why. So just as a reminder, I've got a Mylar emergency camping shelter, a Mylar tube tent for $2.50. Shelter, obviously, signaling, rain collection, first aid, all sorts of stuff you can do with this. So, that's number one, shelter. Bandana. This cost me a buck twenty-five. I got it in pink for signaling, but we can use it for a gazillion million things. It seems unending the number of things we can do with a bandana. We're going to use it primarily for filtering water over with the water bottle. We can also use it for a hat. We could use it for char cloth. We could use it for first aid. We could use it for all sorts of stuff. So bandana. Duct tape, duct tape costs a buck twenty-five. We can use that for a gazillion things. I stitched myself up last winter using some duct tape. I got this in red because it will help with signaling and all those other billion things. It seemed like a no-brainer to me to have duct tape in this kit. Stainless steel water bottle. I've measured this out. It's five hundred milliliters, so a half a liter. It's stainless steel. It's steam seamless. It seems to be a Chinese knockoff of a clean canteen. It's got a little ring there, so I could carry it on a pack can dunk it down when it's hot into stream or creek or lake and cool it off quicker. Um, again, water is going to be a priority for us in this area. Next thing I got is a headlamp. This cost me $2.75 and I was so excited because it included three AAA batteries. It did not include three AAA batteries. So fail on the light. So I spent two bucks and I bought a pack of AAA batteries. There's three of them in here now and it now works. Hooray! So that's the end of my 20 bucks. Batteries for the headlamp. Next thing I bought was a pocket knife. This has got like 11 tools on it. It's got a knife, it's got a saw, it's got a can opener, a bottle opener, it's got a fish hook remover, which is actually just like a little filey, grady, like a little saw sort of thing. It's got a corkscrew, it's got screwdrivers, it's got an awl on it. Um, anyways, pretty happy with that. Knock off Fox 40 whistle. Whoever uses this pack, this kit that I'm setting up, I'm expecting to be inexperienced in the woods. So what I'm going to teach them is to hug a tree. If they find themselves lost or hurt by themselves and they need help, they're going to blow on their whistle three times. Stop and stay where they are. Hug a tree. Blow the whistle three times every few minutes until we come and find them. I don't want them coming to find us. If they don't know what they're doing, I want them to stay put. That came on this lanyard, which I've attached my lighter to using my duct tape. I made a little loop on it there and this will make the lighter a little more visible. It also lets me put it on the lanyard so that who's ever carrying it, if they get into an emergency situation, they just have to hang it around their neck, put it on their belt loop, and then they don't lose those key essential items. I've just put that on there using a slip knot. So it will come out, so you can detach the lighter and use it hands-free to get your tinder going. Um, so lighter cost me 42 cents. Duct tape was off the roll of duct tape that I bought with this. The lighter was $1.25 and that knife I think was $2.50 or $2.75. So very expensive anyways. And the last two things in here, you can find them. Lip balm. I've also marked it with red so that we don't lose it. We can use this for lip balm. It's also got SPF 15 in it. So we could use it for an impromptu sunscreen on nose and lips, cheeks, Whatnot. You could also use it for blisters. It works great for uh, hot patches to give it a little bit more slidability, a little less friction. And we can mix it with the stuff in our first aid kit, which has also been modified using our red duct tape to make it stand out a little bit more. Also put a little patch on here to help it close. We mix that lip balm with the gauze that's in here, the cotton that's in here, and we get a longer lasting tinder. So, what I'm going to do is open up this first aid kit. This is another mod we're going to do. And put the Blistex right inside of there so that it doesn't get lost. The tape has come out of here. It kind of fell apart as I opened it up. This is just an inexpensive kit. I may mod this a little bit more and uh, we'll talk about that in a few moments. But for now, just using what we bought for $17.42, that is our budget survival kit. Now one of the things I wanted to do was to upgrade 
the bag and I've decided to do that anyways. I don't have any more money to spend so this is not uh, part of the contest but at Dollarama for three dollars I bought this little backpack. It's all just single stitch but it's got one main compartment, one small compartment. It doesn't tell me how big this is but it's big enough to hold all the stuff I bought plus a little bit more. And I'm going to show you some of the upgrades, some of the mods I'm going to do. When I was looking at the shelter I had a few choices. And some of them seem pretty obvious. They had the blue tarp of despair. I think it cost about two bucks. It was only four by six though. This Mylar shelter is eight feet long. This one was only four by six. And this has instructions and it had cordage in it. So it seemed like a better deal to me. I know that Mylar can be tricky. It can be rippy. But if you're careful with it, it could get you through a night, I imagine. So this seemed like a better idea to me than this. Um, this is a bigger one that I got from Walmart, uh, 6 feet by 8 feet. I have no idea how much it costs, but um, just as an example, they had the blue tarp of despair at Dollarama. The other thing they had at Dollarama, which I considered, was plastic sheeting, plastic drop sheet for painting. They were a couple bucks as well. Um, they had a couple different sizes, but it, they were not industrial strength. They were not heavyweight. They were called midweight, and they had something else that was called lightweight, which seemed to me that they might be a bit stronger than this, but not much. Um, and again, this would require a little bit of practice and patience to be able to construct a shelter out of. This is easy and comes with instructions, so I passed on this. My second runner-up that I decided to buy, I'm going to include in this kit, is a poncho. They had the 97 cent clear ponchos, which are small. They have a uh, $2.25 cent poncho, which was sorry, a dollar and 25 cent poncho, which was smaller than this one. Then they had two dollar and 50 cents, a bigger vinyl poncho, which obviously you can wear. It's high visibility, so it worked with signaling. You could also, with a little bit of ingenuity and a little more cordage, rig that into a shelter. So I am going to add that. And then one of the things I considered was adding some twine. So the two biggest rolls of cordage that I could find in the store was this mason twine, it's 200 feet for a buck 50 and then 164 feet of heavy jute twine for a buck 25. They had more rope, more standard poly rope and all kinds of different stuff, paracord bracelets and stuff, but these two were the longest length. So I think this is fire starter. Jute twine works great as fire starter so it's dual purpose, but if you put too much tension on it, it tends to tear, so it's not going to be quite as useful for shelter building. So I think I'm going to add this buck fifty twine to this little kit because we'll probably go out and do some practice uh, shelter building this summer, and we'll want some of this. I don't think it's necessary in an emergency with these two things, but it'll be fun. So I'm going to throw that in there anyways, and then the jute twine I'm going to add back to the household stores to do different things with. When I got the bag, my second choice of bag. They had, they had cooler bags for picnic bags, but I wrote those off pretty quickly because they seemed not very durable. But the thing I almost got, when I did buy because I need one, is a dry bag. It's $3. It's 10 liters. It looks to me like I could probably jerry-rig some kind of, it's got some kind of a loop on there, so I'd be able to jerry-rig some kind of a backpack out of that or something. At the very least, it would be a waterproof carrier for all this stuff, and we could obviously use it for a water carrier if it's well sealed. I don't know, three bucks. I'm not going to expect a ton out of it, but I do need a new dry bag, so that's going to go in household stores. It's not going to add to this budget kit. I am going to throw some stuff, other stuff in, though. Bag of Werther's cost me a buck. It never hurts. If you're in an emergency situation, you're going to not necessarily need food, but this sweets could perk you up a little bit, could improve your morale a little bit. I just think it's a good addition for a buck. Why not? Hopefully whoever gets this kit, is using this kit, has come well dressed for the weather and brought snacks in a full water bottle. The other thing I'm going to throw in here is some sunscreen and some bug spray. The sun, summer sun has come out here now. We're up in the 30s the last week or so. It's been hot and sweaty. All the bugs are out by the creek and in the forest and so bug spray and sunscreen. And then I thought I'd add just a few more things from home, just from scrounging. 
I don't really think it's in the spirit of the contest to do a DIY and just grab stuff from home and throw it in here. So again, this isn't contest worthy. This is just a thought exercise that I'm gonna keep going on here until I get a kit that I'm happy with. I'm gonna throw in a couple garbage bags. I'm gonna throw in a big contractor's bag in there, but these guys will work just fine. I have them in the house. Um, you know, you buy a box of them for four or five bucks and you get 30 or 40 and uh, grab it to them. It doesn't cost really anything. You can use them for a ground sheet, you can use them for water, you can use them for a poncho, you could use them for a sleeping bag, stuff them up with leaves and get some insulation. So I'm going to throw two of those in there as well. You can also use them, oddly enough, for collecting garbage, for picking up your own garbage, picking up other people's garbage. Why the heck not when you're out there? So, two garbage bags. A pack of matches. They don't really cost anything. We get them in MREs. You can find them in restaurants. You can find them in convenience stores sometimes. They don't cost very much. They're easy to use. Most people know how to use matches. There's a whole book of them. Hopefully whoever is using this doesn't have to make an emergency fire, but if they do, there's, I don't know, 25, 30 matches in there. However many come in a book of matches to give it a try. If the good old lighter doesn't work wherever it's gone, in this pile here, somewhere. <laughs> Another thing we're going to add... For two dollars, you can buy 32 tea lights at Dollarama. Gonna need 32 of them in a survival kit? No. So I'm gonna add one. 32 cents. 32. So I'm gonna take this and put it in here. So my first aid kit has now got a candle in it as well as matches. Then our Blistex, and then we'll seal it back up again. That ought to close pretty well, I think. Fix that up later. A maxi pad. It's a good chance a woman's going to be using this, and well, these are functional for us. It also makes a good pressure bandage for a first aid situation, and you can use the cotton inside for tinder. So, not a bad idea. It's lightweight. This is two bottoms of tea lights that I've put together and in between it is cotton balls with Vaseline and then it's sealed up with duct tape. It's a homemade thing, it's not in the spirit of the contest, but it's free, it's cheap, it's light, it's really easy and that's really good tinder. You don't have to worry about mucking around with stuff in here and you can leave this stuff for something else. So I'm probably going to throw that in there too. And then Carolina Chris suggested a compass. and. There's a compass keychain. I debated buying this when I got the, my original kit. And I have picked it up because I don't think it's a bad item to have. But my question for you is, if you made a survival kit for somebody that was inexperienced, not sure what they're doing, do you want them navigating if they're lost? Or do you want them to stay where they are? Personally, I'd rather they hug a tree, stop, stay where they are, sit down, blow the whistle three times every few minutes, and let us come and find them. For somebody who knows what they're doing is just forgotten stuff and just for an emergency kit, not a bad idea. This cost me buck twenty-five. I'm gonna hook it on here because we're gonna do some navigation practice this summer, and that'll be a good addition. And a Ziploc bag. I'm gonna put all my first aid stuff in a Ziploc bag, so I'm absolutely sure that it stays dry. I'll probably throw the bandana in there as well. So that is my modified budget survival kit. Nate, once again, I want to say thanks for this challenge. It's been a lot of fun. This is something that I needed to put together anyways for our friends and family that come and join us on hikes and are going to be going camping with us and going on adventures. I'd really like them to have a kit of their own, especially when I take my kids out there and we're practicing stuff. I want them to be able to play along too and maybe learn a thing or two. So thank you very much. Everybody else has done videos for this challenge. Thank you. The ones I've seen so far are fantastic. I can't wait to see more. Thanks for watching. Have there a great day. All packed up. I put the Care Bear and the keychain on the zipper on the outside with the compass. On the front pocket on the inside, we have the first aid kit with the bandana and a little bit of cotton balls and the maxi pad, as well as the lanyard with the whistle, the knife, and the lighter. And then in the main compartment in here, we have a Mylar blanket, a Mylar tube tent. We have the vinyl poncho. The garbage bags are down on the bottom. Shopping bags are in there. Water bottle, sunscreen, bug spray. The cordage that we bought today, the Werther's, the duct tape, and then the headlamp is tucked inside of the roll of duct tape inside the cardboard so that the button doesn't get pushed accidentally. And that is our budget-friendly, under $20 survival kit. It's actually over $20 now. Let's say 
$25 survival kit. That's not very good math, but it sure was a lot of fun. Thanks again, Nate.